Uh, 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 right. Uh, Hello, guys. What's up? here, and uh, I'm joined by Tom again. And this time, we're not talking Batman. We're talking The Walking Dead because <laughs> it was the season finale, and and some things happened. Not a lot of things, but some things happened. Things started to happen. Yeah. And then and then then they stopped. It was like a Puerto Rican pullout. Just. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly run through the episode. Bearing in mind, spoilers if you haven't watched the episode yet. Um, which, if you haven't and you're a Walking Dead fan, then I don't know why you haven't. But mm. And again, the, the, <clears throat> the, the video, sound file, whatever you're listening to or watching is titled Walking Dead Season Finale Review. Yeah, there you go. So, so mate. Yes. Anyway, right, okay. So, let's let's jump into it. So... Last Day on Earth. Yes. Is the title. Yes. And Originally titled Something to Fear, as far as I believe. I would have preferred that. Which happens to be the volume 17 of the book. The See? arc where you meet Negan. Ah, right, okay. Anyway, the episode. Yeah, so really there's only... You've got two plots running alongside each other. So you've got Morgan trying to find Carol. Mm -hmm. And then you've got... Um, Rick and the gang, the Scooby gang. Everyone capable of defending Alexandra, basically, yeah. leaves. Like, li left with Gabriel, who, to be fair, he has become... He's a much better person. Yeah, like, in the, in the graphic novels, he, I don't remember him being such a pansy. No, he was... He's a bit... He's still He's not bit... as, like, <gasps> Yeah. as horrendous. Um, he's also not as much of a dick. Yeah. A I, huge I... dick. Man, there was, there was right. plenty of times where I was like, just kill him. Like, <laughs> I think, what is it, in the church when Maggie like tracks him down. Yeah. And I was just like, Maggie, just kill him. Yeah, just, just take him out Pop. because, my God. <laughs> and then, yeah, he gives the line, are you happy leaving me to defend Alexandra? Yeah. And Rick sort of, he's like, yeah, I have to. Don't have much of a choice, yeah. mate. <laughs> so, so Maggie's basically, Maggie's pregnant mm. um, with Glenn's baby. Glenn and Maggie, absolutely. Oh, I love them so much, so much. The year. And she is badly, in a bad way. Yeah, now, uh, so just in case, um, we're going to be referring, we're bouncing between the graphic novels and The Walking Dead, the show, mm -hmm. which differ slightly, but most of the kind of main plot points are the same. Um, but it's, what happens to the, she has the kid, doesn't she? She has um, the kid after... Which we'll get to. Yeah. After Megan comes in. Yeah. Um, so but she, she doesn't lose it, does she? No, no. Right. no okay. Which, so that's kind of what this looks like. It's building up. Yeah, because she she obviously ends episode fifteen uh, screaming and clutching herself. Yeah. Um, so it's like, oh no. And always, it's always a little bit weird in these kind of shows because time is a little bit distorted. You never yeah. really know how much time has passed. But I don't think she's at the point where she would be giving. But, uh, no, she's. I think. I think if I remember correctly, she says in a couple of episodes ago she's a couple of months or three months. Uh, I think she when she's taken by the other saviors. I think so. I think, I think yeah. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's got a bit of time, but yeah. So and it's time for things to go wrong. Yeah, there's always time for things to go wrong. So they have to get her to hilltop. Yes. Because Denise, God rest her soul, has died in episode fourteen. Which ah, uh, someone. Someone brought up an amazing point. Why the hell would you take out your only doctor on yeah, your right. scavenger mission? Yeah, yeah, like, it. What? They, they span it around with because uh, she knew what they were looking for, the medication that they were looking for. I guess. And at the time, I hated her death. Like I was like, I wanted. I it. still hate it. Spoilers! <laughs> spoilers for you. Denise gets an arrow through the eye, as you'll know. But in the comics, spoilers. That happens to Abraham. Yes, happens and it's Abraham. way more effective yes. and resonates more because we don't know Denise as well as we knew Abraham in the comics. No, she's just so weepy all the time. Mm. And, <sighs> and at the time, I was like, "Well, that's just awful." But yeah. then you realise that then has the effect that they can't. They need to get to Hilltop. Yeah. So that spurs on this. Yeah, I guess plot. from like a, a plot development device yeah. it works but just in terms of like an emotional impact it was just it fell flat yes yeah, like, absolutely absolutely so yeah so they're on their way to hilltop because they have adopted there still so they have to get there um 
and this is amongst the time when they know that something's happened to the others like they're not back yet so they know something's not quite right yeah so there's there's tension in that that aspect and i think actually the, the very first scene of this is it's someone's groggy and yeah. there's like it's the sun coming through the well not the sun the light yeah and you're like what is going oh i'm getting excited yeah like what is going on <laughs> And you're sort of thinking, that's got to be, so Glenn, Michonne, Daryl, Rosita, yep. that's it? Yeah. They're the captured problem. by, the saviors are captured by Dwight. Yes. At the end of He's, last episode. Oh, oh, it's so, oh, yeah. mate, it's <laughs> um, So they're caught and that, you see that after every break. Yeah. Every break you see it, you're like, it's more and more you hear, you start to hear words. And, huh. So, <laughs> yeah, so they're on the road, they're captured, they don't know. And then I felt I actually did enjoy the road trip stuff. Yes, because it was so as the as the scene goes on or as the, the episode goes on, they they're trying to get to Hilltop and they keep getting blocked by the saviors at each location. By more and more and more saviors. See, that's the thing. Like it's a great way of slowly building up how fact, big this force is. Yeah, because like, they are. huge. Huge. Which is really good because in the past couple of episodes, Rick has been getting really cocky. Yeah, yeah, because like, he's so, annoyingly so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like dude, dude is dude is confident in himself. Yeah, M most confident we've seen him probably. Yeah, because he had he he has phases, and I think still my favourite phase is murder beard. Rick? Murder beard Rick rope throat slip like yeah like that yeah. section oh, oh so absolutely good. badass so good. and that's what makes the the final ten minutes as brutal as they are as brutal as they yeah. are which um, we get to I can't wait to talk about <laughs> oh it's so good so um, so yeah so each time they get to um, a stop the group gets bigger or the saviors get bigger led and, by uh, Trevor from GTA Five I straight away I was like. That's Trevor. <laughs> I don't know his name. I don't know the actor's name, and it really I, I hate the fact that I don't know his name. I always thought it was something Goggins, but I don't think it is. No, that's Walter, you're thinking of Walton Goggins. Yes, who's an absolute hero. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah. So led by Trevor. But yeah. Anyway, so more and more each time, bigger, yeah. bigger um, obstructions. Yeah. Personal favorite was the the logs. Yeah, because like, that's like, like Jesus, man. That's there's so that's like how did like how many of them are there. Yeah, how many are there? How many vehicles have they got? They've got some big vehicles yeah. as well. So it's a great way of slowly instilling fear in like Rick's group and yeah. slowly being like... Sort of slowly breaking them down. So Rick's group is Rick, Abraham, uh, Sasha, yep. Eugene, mm -hmm. who comes into his own in this episode, who I really, I really liked. Uh, I, this, uh, this season has sort of moved his character quite a lot. Yes. Yeah. Um, which but, does reflect the, the graphic yeah, novels. Yeah, because he's he comes, he's very, very key. Mm. Um, and like he's making his bullets and stuff. So it's Rick, Abraham, Sasha, Eugene, and Ill Maggie. Yep. And, and then Carl. Carl, of course, who yeah. I adore Carl. Like, it's, he's... I used to hate him. I used yeah. to despise him. But now I've got, a, I've got yeah. a lot of time for him. Well, I'm currently watching through Walking Dead with a friend. Right. And she's, it's when she, he's little and she's like... She likes it, but I'm like, he's such a dick. Yeah. Like... Um, but he is now obviously he's one eye. He's one eye. And he's, he's one eye man, and he's he's got that look of I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah he's, <laughs> oh, he's so good. He's such a good actor. Um, so yeah, so they blocked off a couple uh, four times, I think. There's uh, so you've got the first one, the guy on the road. Yes. Then you've got um, I think it's then the, it's when they the turn guys, the corner and he's got the <laughs> yeah he's slowly <laughs> shooting off some rounds and then you've got the logs. And then you've got the zombies with the, bits of... Yeah, the big sort of walker set piece. Yeah. Of the chain coming through the stomach. Yeah. And but it's got Michonne's hair attached to one of them. Yes. It's got Daryl's jacket. Uh, Michonne's jacket. Daryl's crossbow. Oh, right. Because I think Daryl still has his jacket. I don't think the walker has his jacket. Uh, I thought it was his jacket. Because his crossbow... Did, maybe. Dwight still has. Yes, yeah, which yeah, he's only no, got, Dwight um, has his crossbow. Yeah, and Daryl's only got his like vest on. Oh gets yeah, because he's been shot in, yeah. in the previous episode. Yeah. There's that weird little fake out. Yeah, <laughs> nah, you'll be right. But it's again, it's another way of like slowly chipping away. Yeah, their morale. Of, yeah. like we've definitely got your people. You don't know what we've done to them. Yeah, it's like oh. It's like one of the complaints of the season was that Rick and the, Rick and Co seem to be dispatching saviors like, like that. Like a big group of them comes, they kill them all, but. Then 
there's just so many of them. Exactly. And like the big ones are the scary ones. Yeah, because that's what kind of this this episode does is like, yeah, they've had, like, especially when they attack the savior kind of outpost. And it's a bit like, oh yeah, I didn't realise they could infiltrate and take down. That's this so place. easily. Yeah, it yeah. seemed a bit like, they're a bit OP. Yeah. But then this episode is like, okay, yeah, they did that, but that's that's nothing. Yeah. It doesn't matter to the saviors. It's like, yeah. like even Negan says something to the effect of, oh, like, you've killed. Yeah, you've killed loads of my men. And then uh, when I kill Ringles, then you killed more. Yeah. And that's not cool, man. Yeah. But we'll get to Negan. We'll get yeah, to Negan. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. get to Negan. Okay, so that's that's their kind of part. Um, and then you've got the Carol Morgan stuff. Yes. Which... Mm, it never seemed to really... I never got the idea, so Carol's being... Carol takes out a load of saviours in the end of the last episode. Yes. In the middle of the last episode, and there's one guy left who pursues her. Yeah. Um, you get the tease of the kingdom with last episode where they're chasing and there's the farm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Carol would be missing, so Morgan goes after her. Yeah, and I, I initially liked the Morgan Carol kind of dynamic because Carol had become had gotten to this point where she's just like a badass, kills whoever needs to be killed, oh, very so cold good. blooded. Yeah. And Morgan is Morgan. Yeah, Morgan doesn't kill. I, I don't kill anybody because yeah. that's not gonna have any repercussions in the future. Life is precious. All yeah. life is precious. And I feel like the past two episodes, Carol's just completely 180'd on it. I mean, it's when she leaves at the end of episode 14, mm. just suddenly, like, oh, she's gone. Yeah. It's like, she has her sort of, because obviously the episode, uh, the same boat, episode mm. 13 with her and Maggie. Yeah. 14. Um, 13. Uh, which uh, she has to kill humans. She sort of, she says, I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, and it just seemed a bit out of nowhere. Yeah. So the whole point of setting them up against each other, like her saying, you know, it's something that we have to do and him trying to convince her, no, there's other ways, was quite interesting, but it just didn't seem to result in anything. Mm. So this episode is just him still trying to find her and her kind of almost just like accepting death. With yeah, she basically up gives her. up. Yeah. But I never thought that, I never... As worrying as it was to see Carol get shot in her arm and leg, I was like, you know, she's not going to die. Yeah. Like, because you're not going to knock... Carol's not going to get knocked off by this no-name exactly, savior yeah. guy. Like, she... If you've read the graphic novels, there are a couple of, let's say, fights that happens, which I could imagine that being when she gets yeah. knocked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. kind of up the stakes for it. Yeah, well, because Carol, Carol's dead. Like, she yeah. dies back in the prison. Like, mm -hmm. she commits suicide, basically, doesn't she? She just... Basically, hugs a walk. It's like, hey, ah, I love you. I love you. Ah. Um, so she's gone, but that's why her character is so good. But that, I think that was basically just to set up the kingdom. Wasn't yes. It? Yes. Which, which I was like, ooh. Which, yeah, so kingdom is obviously, as you know, because you're watching this and you are a fan of The Walking Dead and you read the books. Um, I'm, just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna let this l linger while we remember. <laughs> this is a books, comic book spoiler. Yep. Kingdom is uh, ruled by King Ezekiel yep. and his pet, Tiger Shiva, and these warriors that you would have seen. Um, They're kind of like knights. Yeah, because it is a weird sort of medieval place. Mm. And that was purely, so Carol and Morgan are there now. Yeah, So which, yeah, it's just their way of kind of introducing that yeah. new kind of territory because big big key of the fight against Negan mm. so that's that story yeah and Morgan ends up killing someone he ends up breaking his rule yeah he yeah, absolutely like poof, 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 and then that yeah, final see, headshot yeah. see that's the thing like he's like oh, I, I don't want to kill anybody he didn't have to kill that guy he could have shot him in the arm yeah yeah, yeah, and he, he just leaves, gun, just... and then he like knocks him out or something yeah unloads the whole like magazine into ah! him <laughs> So that was a little bit weird, mm. but so those are the main kind of story elements because we don't really go back to Alexandra at any point. No. Um, don't have to on so. So we get to like is like the last. It's ten minutes. It's the one. Well, let's just set it up first. So yeah, Eugene has the idea that they don't saviors don't know that they don't know the occupancy. Yeah. Of the. Uh, RV, which is lovely that they're in an RV, like back again in an RV. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that. I was, I was like, like, oh, <sighs> I remember these days. So Eugene has the idea of him taking the RV mm. and them carrying Maggie to the hilltop. 
Yeah. And you think that's a good idea, and there's that emotional goodbye with Eugene, like, oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. Yeah. Um, and so he drives off, they're walking through, and you're like, I was getting like giddy at that point because I was like, oh, it's not going to go, it's not going to go well. Yeah, because there's actually, in the kind of beginning, beginning of the episode, there's a guy who's running through the woods and there's a, a, a tune being yeah, whistled. Yeah, I can't remember what the tune is. It's it was something just... like, like, I think it was like the... Du, 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 something yeah. like that. And, um, and it all seems calm, like Carl takes out a walker, yes. no, no problem. And then you start hearing the whistle. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, oh, God, no. And you're just like, shit. <laughs> and you see the fear. Mm. You see the fear come into Rick's eyes. And I think that's the beginning of him sort of full, like, his sort of, uh, his defeat. Yeah. Um, so then... <laughs> they do cover that in the graphic novels where he kind of starts questioning him being a leader. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so they, they eventually come into a clearing and lights oh there's so <laughs> many of them and eugene's captured he's yeah got his rv he's, uh, he's beaten he's ca captured and the rv's there and i was uh, as soon as i saw the rv i was like he's in there <laughs> he is in there he's in there he's in there he's in there and rick's face andrew lincoln oh, absolutely amazing him. i love him so much yeah. so much his his the look of loss because he is he literally like surrounded just doesn't know what to do he's yeah. like most of the time he's just like yeah, he looks so, he looks, oh God, yeah. they were so, and yeah, like they look scared and Maggie's obviously ill and so then you've got Trevor at the front, Trevor from GTA, and uh, he's like, uh, let's get you all on your knees, get her up, get you all on your knees, and you're yeah. like, Sh and I couldn't get over Andrew Lincoln's performance just because it's so like, like you said, we've seen him so confident. Yep. And like back at the first, back in episode one where they're doing that quarry where he's got that big plan and it does work. Yeah. You're like, yeah, he could and there's the speech he gives to Maggie, backtracking a little bit, where he's saying, As long as we're together, we can do anything. Mm. And then Carl comes in and says that as well when they're walking through. He's like, I heard you, I I believe you. And yeah, Maggie said, I believe in you, and there's the whole I believe in Rick Grimes thing. Yeah. And then it sounds very really like a political campaign. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I'd, I'd vote for him. I'd, I'd vote, vote for it. Yeah, I'm man. Right. And then you just get the words, "Let's meet the big guy." Oh. Ooh. And the door opens. And what I loved, what I loved. Sorry, I might end up talking quite a bit. Uh, it's this bit. no, no, it's fine. What I loved is this. Like, there's that music that's like, oh, it's just, just like some sort of Inception kind of music. And you think, oh, it's gonna be this grand entrance. He just opens the door. He just steps out. Yeah. And it's just like, who's pissing themselves right now? Yeah, like, if if you're not, we're in PP City or yeah, something we're about like. to, Yeah, we're about to be in PP City when he's walking around. And, and he's um, just like, oh man, he, he, there's just he, something right, about him. His, his on-screen presence immediately, immediately, I watched the scene twice. I watched the episode of Talking Dead and then watched the scene again. And like, as soon as he's on screen, you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And he looks perfect. They've got He the, looks spot on. Yeah, and he's got the... He's got the red scarf and yeah. the leather jacket. I want that. I want to be him. I will say, I was expecting him to be a little bit bigger. Yes, because Negan is he's he's, he's a, a big guy. ripped guy. Like he's he's because he's quite imposing. Yeah. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan was used to be quite big, like yeah. supernatural, like. So I mean, although he's not physically imposing, I still feel like the way that he is. Yeah. You're like it makes you feel uneasy yeah, cause around he's, him. Yeah, because he's huge. Like he's like okay. huge, and he's yeah, very big, and he's mm. just and obviously the image of him stood over the knelt down all of our saviors, all of our survivors. Mm. Um, but yeah, he just commanded that scene, and I was like, that's Negan, like that is Negan. Anyway, yeah, but, so and, yeah, like he's he is Negan, like yeah, and like I know that they've they've said that when the DVD comes out, they're gonna release it. Like they've recorded everything yeah. that he says in the graphic novel, Yeah. which is great because I couldn't help that whenever he spoke, I was like, there, there should be like, there'd be a fuck there there'd or be a fuck. There'd be a fuck, 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 yeah. because Negan swears a lot. So much. To like... the point where when I first started reading his, um, his parts in the graphic novel, I, I had to adjust to it. Yeah, you do. Because it took a little bit of time to, to actually, like, oh, yeah, no, there's three fucks there. Yeah, there's that speech where he's like, fuckity fuck, fuck, fuckers, fucky, fuck, fuck. C word. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. And it's like, oh. 
Yeah, yeah he swears, and he like that is like, it's like he's because he's just a bad guy. Yep. Like he he knows he's a bad guy. Like the governor is the, probably the nearest comparison. Like he was putting on an act. Yeah. Um, but Negan is just up front. I'm a dickhead. Yeah, he's. But he's kind of charming. He's he- he's incredibly charming and like he's charismatic and like that. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan just nailed it. Like yep. there's the bit where he turns around, and he smiles. Yeah. And you're just like, <laughs> oh, I like you. I like you. But you're such a dick. You're gonna do something bad. Yep. And yeah, and it just oh my god, I was. Like it was a dream come true, like the mm. fact that Negan was on TV. Yeah. Uh, but you're right, yeah. When they when they released that Blu-ray, I cannot all wait to see. Yeah, because AMC has this rule where any show that they have, they can only have one fuck. Yeah. In a season. Yeah. And traditionally, Walking Dead has it in the season finale. Yeah. I don't know who would have said it in this one. I don't think there was said like. He, Negan definitely didn't say it. No. Like, I was expecting just... I was hoping. I was hoping for him to go, fuck, like, like something. Um, but he didn't. But I think... Because Abraham's quite... His, his language is quite colourful. Abraham had the quotes in this episode. He always has the quotes. Bitch nuts. <laughs> Every time he saw the saviours, like, Brock, Brock in the Road was a different... Yeah. Like, I love the first one, what the bitch. And then <laughs> bitch nuts. I was like... Oh, it's just so good, but... Yeah. So that's the nearest language, and they have sort of been warming up, but... I mean, Negan wasn't exactly polite, like... No. <laughs> no, he um, he had a couple of outbursts, where I was like, Ooh. Yeah, there's lots of shits in there. Yeah. And, um, pricks, and, like, he said to Rick, like, you are a prick. Yeah. Um, I just love that bit where he's like, Hi, you're Rick? Yeah. And he goes, I'm Negan. And you're like, <laughs> Oh, yes, you are! Yeah, sure. uh, and let's talk about Lucille. Uh, She's awesome. It just looks so painful. <laughs> oh, it does. It does. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah. So this scene. Let's get into it. Final ten minutes of the episode. Yeah. I will say, like that whole bit. I was. I was sweating. Yeah, I was. I was I sat was there like just like this. I was just like. <laughs> like the entire time. My flatmate came in and he was like, "Hey," and I was like. No, just I was watching it with <laughs> me, my brother, my brother's girlfriend, and my mum. Mm. And my mum was like, I was just there, like, I was like, I was the same reaction to Batman when Batman and Superman were fighting. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just there, and my mum was like, Oh no, oh no. Yeah. And he's just, oh, he's so good. Like, yeah. and yeah, that whole scene was issue one hundred in a nutshell. Like, mm. um, and then he starts. He's go, he's going. He's saying they can't go without punishing you for killing yeah. so many of my men. Like it's not cool. It's, I'm going to show you how not cool that is. Yeah, um, it's just establishing his character in a really, really good way. Yeah, and like and that's the thing. Like they do capture like the humor of him as well. Because there's a couple of times like um, just as he starts kind of thinking who he wants to make an example out of, he like. He's walking across them and he, he stops kind of in front of Abraham and Abraham kind of kneels up yeah. to be like, I'll do it. And he's like, he just looks at him and he's like, man, I've got to shave this. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> oh, he's so good. Oh, my God. And there's the bit where he's talking, he looks at Rick, then he looks at Carl and Carl and Negan have quite they, a good, you've said you yeah. want to see that, don't you? You yeah. want to see that in the comics. And then he goes and talks to him. And he says, lighten up, kid. Maybe cry a little. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's got no it, Like straight away, he's just like, Man, you're, you're fucking, you are rough. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. And he's mean to, and he goes, oh, he goes to Maggie. He's like, oh, you look really shitty. <laughs> Maybe I should just put you out of misery. Um, yeah. So at this point, by the way, they they brought out Rosie, yeah, of course, um, Daryl, Daryl, Glenn, and Michonne. So when he threatens Maggie, Glenn goes fucking crazy, and I was like, that's it. Well, so <laughs> right, so quickly. Massive potential season seven premiere spoiler. Yes, and yeah. massive comic book spoiler. So, dude, whoever, if you're watching this, if you're a masochist or anything like that, just don't watch this bit, okay? What we're gonna there's, do is there's some things you don't need. I'm gonna sit here like this. And we're gonna talk, and then once we're not, once we've gone past the spoiler, I'll move, so they can mute the video. Oh right, okay. All right, but if you're listening to this audio, 
you're screwed. Come back in like three minutes. Oh no, no, I'll tell you what, so you can still move. Yeah. I'll just put spoiler. Oh, good idea. And then as soon as we come off of the topic, I'll remove spoiler. So spoiler should come up now. And then, I'll, as I say, I'll take it off later. Right. Um, so, so, go on. Glenn gets fucked. Glenn gets loose sealed. <sighs> and in the kayak gets, that's how, that's who he kills. That's who Negan kills. And even in the graphic novels, it's... It's tough. horrendous, and he he's screaming. So he gets, so we're a little bit out of line because we'll be talking about the ending in a minute. Yeah, but he just gets, poof. yeah, he just kind of out of nowhere just smashes him on the top of the head. Um, we plays eeny meeny miny mo. Yeah, like he does in the show, and we'll yeah. be repeating ourselves in mix. We'll be talking about the ending. Yeah, um, but as he's getting fucked up, um, he's just he's screaming for Maggie. Yeah, which is, and it's man. just so sad. And then as when Glenn's brought out, he screams Maggie. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no. And oh. he like comes out a line and. Yeah, he, yeah. so when he says, you look really shitty, I wish you put you out of misery, Glenn runs out and goes, no. And then, oh, and yeah. And then that leads to, so yeah, Glenn comes out and you think, oh, he's going to fucking get him. Yeah. So that's the end of that spoiler. Yeah. Basically. Spoiler should be off now. You can listen again. So, so Glenn's screaming. Yeah. And I can't remember exactly what um, Negan says, but it's something to the effect of, I'm going to let you have that one. Yeah, that's a freebie. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is an emotional situation. Yeah, because <laughs> it was an emotional situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So good. So good. And then that puts Glenn in a different position, which will lead to the ending, as, as you're trying to work out what happened. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, so, Glenn, so basically, you've got everyone we love. Yep. we've been with for the past six years some three years some two years mostly six years mm -hmm. so you got Carl Rick Daryl Glenn Maggie for most of it like season yeah, two yeah. Um, Michonne was the end of season two uh, Eugene everybody Rosita everybody in front of him knelt down you're just like and that's exactly how it is in the books like and yeah. then so Negan's uh, that line where he's like uh, that was an emotional situation yeah um and then Negan starts going, I just can't, I just can't decide. Yep. <laughs> and he goes, I've got an idea. Yep. And he starts playing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And the way it's filmed was so good because it yeah. messes you up. Like, yeah. you just don't, like, it's all sort of disjointed. Because it, yeah, because it's not in, like, in order. It Because if it was in order, you could kind of figure out who it would end up being. Yeah. But he starts doing it out of order. And then it's just a nice shot where, like, you can kind of, you predominantly you see them, but you just kind of see the bat. You see Lucille come them. up and point at them, and that's a, it was rep, it was replicating the comic like that. There's those five panels because in the books, I can't remember. It's, there's only five or six. Yeah, it's Glenn, Maggie, uh, Michonne, Rick. the dude with the dreads, Rick. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yes, it's, it's not as many not as, as many. It's not, it's not the entire cast. Yeah. Um, so he starts playing me in Mo and you're just like, and he's gonna. He's just said he's gonna kill someone. Yeah. He's gonna kill someone. Um, and then, and then it falls. It just. So. Go on. So it then cuts to a point of view shot, and he. Fucking you are because he goes eeny meeny miny mo catch fish by a toe. My mother said to blah blah blah. You are it. Yeah. And it's your. It's you. Yep. Facing Lucille, and then I love his line. He goes, "You are it," and he goes, "We're gonna go do this. Uh, if anyone talks, cut the other boy's eyes out, feed it to his dad, and then we'll get started." So you know it's not Rick or Carl. Yeah, so they're safe. Which makes sense. Like, I don't think they would have gone down that no. route. That's a big difference from the graphic novel. Yeah, that, and I don't think... I think Rick and Carl, for the majority of it, uh, you can, can consider safe. Yeah. Like, Rick is less safe than Carl, I think, because, as the comics books, Rick, it can go on without Rick. Yeah. But I don't think the show can go on without Rick just yet. No. So... So he says that, and then just... Crack. You Just hear the crack. Whack down. And everything gets, the sound gets distorted. You see blood start coming down the, the like the camera lens. And he says his line of, you took that like yeah, a champ. Taking it like, yeah, and he goes like that. And it's just like, that's his, that was the line. That's what he says to the person who does in the comics. And then he and just starts beating. And I think it, after the second hit, it cuts the black. Cuts and the then black you and just you keep hear. hearing it. And you hear like mush. Yeah. And then it ends. Yeah. Fuck 
that. Yeah. Screw that. Like, it's just so, it's so kind of stereotypical, like, TV these days to end on a cliffhanger. Like, even if they... Because I was completely fine with not knowing who they were going to do it to. That I could, I could live with. Okay. I would have preferred if you got to see who it was. Mm. Because I feel like that would have left people with more of an emotional, like, exactly. reaction. So, to yes, tide you I, over until the next season. Yeah, you go first, you go first, you go first. So, so, yeah, so that would have been better if you found out who it was. And that would have tied you over to the second, um, the next season. Um, but even if they had done it with the cut to black... Or even if they hadn't shown you who it was, instead of just cutting to black, after that first hit, just slowly pan in on on Rick because we already know that he's like he realised he's he's fucked up. But just to get his reaction, because Abraham um, Andrew Lincoln, amazing actor, yeah, I really it would have been so emotional just slowly panning on his face and like realising I've got this person, yeah. I've been friends with this person for so yeah. long, and they. This is happening to them because of me. That would have been so much that's more emotional. That's really good. Yeah, that's really yeah. And instead of just a black cut and a, um, yeah. So I'm so so disappointed. Like I love this shit. Like I love this world and so. Yeah. And the episode to me is one of my favourites of the season. I thought it was a really fantastic episode. And because of that five or ten minutes is amazing. Mm. But to your first point. It's so TV. Yeah. End of cliffhanger. It's such a ratings thing. It's like tune in for more season seven in October. Um, it kills any tension of yeah. that scene. That scene needed that payoff. Yeah. It needed to see who was. It needed to see who's dead. It screams to me they don't know. They have never known. Yeah. Like this was filmed back in back last year or early this year. Um, so it screams to me they don't know. And my biggest problem with it. Dearest Nathan, mm. is we're going to know who's dead in season seven premiere because that's going to happen. Yeah. Whoever dies isn't going to be filming The Walking Dead for the rest of the year. Yeah. So they have to remain so... They release it, they release it, traditionally release a trailer at Comic-Con yep. to just preview the season. They can't do that because if, take for example, Daryl, if it's Daryl that gets his head knocked in, Daryl's not going to be in the trailer yep. at like ever like so the trailer has to be just that first scene from july to october we can't see any more yeah they've kind of by doing it like this they've painted themselves into a corner with regards to what they can do yeah like, especially it, like in re in regards to trailers but also just in regards to people getting pictures of, of like people on set yeah like it happens all the time with game of thrones yeah yes like, they were saying about how um john uh What's his name? Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington was like seen on set and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, so with uh, that, yeah. it's and they have to like the whole episode builds up this incre that last scene is only as good as it can be because the episode builds up to it and like yeah. connection. Like as soon as you jump into the season 7 premiere, although we will because we're massive fans and like we'll look back on us complain and we'll be like, "Yeah, oh, stupid idiots." Like yeah. it's so good. Yeah. Um but like the tension won't be there. No. Because there won't have been the build-up. And also, season seven, the premiere, is going to have to recap that scene. Yeah, so it's either going to be the last couple of minutes of that, where he's doing the eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and then picks the person, and then they start from there. Or it's going to be kind of like a slow, like, kind of... You hear the bat smushing the brain in, or the person's head in and it slowly kind of like pans up and shows you who it is yeah. as it's happening and then I don't know, goes past Negan onto the survivors yeah either yeah. way it doesn't work because it's... as you say there's there's no build up of tension no. we've had however many months off yeah and you just come in cold and you're like eh. yeah and but my big problem as a comic book reader and as you as a comic book reader I'm sure you agree mm. is that scene happens so brutally so quickly yeah because he goes eeny meeny miny and then the page turns and it's Mo and it's, then it happens and it's, poof, it's all on one cover page. Yeah. And it's just like, what is happening? What is happening? And it's that good. And like the fact that we now have to wait six months to see that payoff is just so... It's just so TV. And it's... The Walking Dead is The Walking Dead. It doesn't need the rating. It doesn't need... No. 
It doesn't need, it'll have millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people watching in October mm. just because it's The Walking Dead. And I would have been sat there, I would have, cr- I would have been just like, oh Christ. Yeah. Because you've just seen Daryl die. Yeah, or, see that. Or Glenn die, or Eugene die, or Abraham die. Yeah, I think you, you are probably right in, in the fact that they, they probably don't know who they want to kill off yet. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if it doesn't matter who they would have killed off, right now everybody wouldn't be talking about how much of a letdown of the episode was or how it was a bit of a cop out. They'd be saying, "Oh my god, I can't believe they killed such and such." Yeah. Because pretty much, if they killed like Michonne, Maggie, um, Daryl, Daryl, and Glenn, any one of those. People would have been going nuts. Yeah, it's like, if, can you imagine if they'd killed Daryl? Oh, like, people would. There'd be like holy petitions. Holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! And that would have been so, so good. Like that would have been like one of those points in TV where people like look back and be like, "Do you remember when they just killed off?" Yeah. Like yeah. instantly. Yeah, and like, yeah, just like just. Oh, it's, it's just so really, angry. it's really annoying, and I feel like they really kind of missed out missed out on it something here yeah and like i was watching i watched the talking dead afterwards and they tried to justify it just their defenses seem so like they're like oh yeah that was the end of the story the story of the ep- the story of the season wasn't who dies at the end it was about that whole confidence boost getting completely broken and it's like fine mm. but that doesn't mean t- you can end it on a cliffhanger and like yeah and i just and the cast were giving these interviews. They're like, it's the most harrowing episode we've ever read. Andrew Lincoln said he couldn't, he didn't, he turned up late to film it because it was so scary. And Lauren Cohen was like, she felt physically sick afterwards. And I was like, yeah, that scene is that scene is incredible. Like by its own merit, like to me, the episode was like still a nine out of ten just because of how good it was. It's just the fact it's a fucking cliffhanger at the end. Yeah. It's annoying because like. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, Game of Thrones doesn't really do that. No. And that's... I'd say the the Game of Thrones are probably a little bit higher in regards to viewership, but still, like, they're both flagship... They're massive shows. shows like, for their Walking Dead networks. is continuously the biggest show mm. when it's on. Yeah. Like, you have The Walking Dead on for half a year, then you have Game of Thrones on for the next, like, part of the year. Yeah. And it's just... it work- And yeah, and oh... But I love the show, so... Oh, my God. You can't hate things without loving them, like, properly. Like, they can't yeah. be... Um, but, yeah, man, and... I just... Season 7 has to be... This premiere, they have to do... And this is one of the things Scott G- Gimple said on Talking Days, like, we have to justify... The Season 7 premiere has to justify the cliffhanger. Yeah. And it really does. And I don't really know... How? Yeah, like... I just don't... <sighs> For, like the filmmaker in me is trying to think of a way that they would shoot it to make it to pull you back into that that tension but I, I can't think because yeah just like you won't no yeah you'd be and like I say we'll probably be there on October whenever and we'll just be like holy shit this show is amazing yeah because yeah. as soon as it comes on we're like oh it's back yay but but there's still be that part of me that's like I won't have this the same feeling. Like I'll have, get excited because Negan's there, and like, but starting the episode with that won't have the same effect as ending the episode because you want that sense of like we're all like statistic of like we want that sense of despair and loss. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I made points earlier that I've forgotten. <laughs> um, well, I just want to say like it's just annoying that they've done this because, for example, spoilers for Game of Thrones if you're not up to date on the show, but. Like when Jon Snow gets killed, you see him like running down and there's a crowd and you're like, this mm, this doesn't feel quite right. And then you see the the sign saying traitor, and you're like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. And then the first like stab happens and you're just like, oh, maybe someone will come along. And that, that tension that is there and they don't cut away. Like, if yeah. they had cut after the first stab, then you just hear, like, stabs after that. Would it be terrible? Yeah, because, you know... Yeah, like... It's it's just such a bizarre choice to make, and I don't... And oh, that was a point I made earlier. It's exactly what they did in the season mid-season finale, 
with Glenn? Is he dead? Is he not dead? Yeah. And you see now, so in regards to like people who it might not be, so Rick, no, Carl, no. I don't think it'd be Glenn because he's had so many near misses. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it would, I feel like it might fall a little bit flat. Because Maggie's pregnant, I, I would said. love for it. Yeah. Because that would, people would fucking hate me yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, that's the thing is it has then, to be someone, has to be someone that gives the motivation to fight. Yeah, and then because, again, if it was Maggie, Glenn would just be, we need to kill him. We yeah. have to kill him. Yeah. Because he's always been a bit kind of on the fence. Like yeah. when he killed people a couple of episodes ago when they... In the uh, episode... It's the... The Attack think, on the Saviors. Yeah, so, Attack yeah. on the Saviors. He has that moment where he's like, oh, you know, I don't really want to. This is like the first time. Or, yeah. Which I didn't realise. But um, Yeah, I, yeah. But yeah, again, it would be... But I don't think they'd do that. No. Like killing a pregnant woman, I feel that's a bit, little bit too far for them. Yeah. Killing Daryl makes perfect sense. I think Daryl is the one that has... I, my money is on Daryl. My money is on Daryl. Um... <laughs> If they kill Abraham, Sasha, Rosita, or Eugene, n- not that fast. Not that fast, no. Like, it'd be a shame. It'd be sad. But it's not gonna. It wouldn't propel me to be like he's 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 awful. Like he yeah. is truly awful. Because the reason it's so memorable in the comics is because it is a fan favorite and it's someone's been there since issue volume one. Yeah. As this has to be someone's been with us for at least five years. Um, yeah, so Dar- <sighs> my money's on Daryl. I would say Daryl. The likely choice is probably Glenn. Yeah. Um, but I really worry that it's like Rosita. God, if it is, I just won't care. So one of the things that someone pointed out on the internet, because as soon as this episode was over, uh, two things people pointed out. Whoever it is, is probably the same point of view character that we see in the in the back of the truck. Right, okay. Because it's two points of views. Yeah. And someone made a point of, there's no hair dangling dangling in front of that camera. Um, if you look to your, and that person's at the back. So when they open the truck, Daryl's at the front. Right, the okay. There. Um, so that points to it being Glenn. Um, but also you hear women scream when he hits him. There's only two women, three women yeah. there, Maggie. Michonne and Rosita and Maggie probably isn't in enough state to scream as much as she does. Yeah. So, yeah, so you hear girls scream and, yeah, so I think probably Daryl. I I hope it is, like, he's been safe for a very long time. He's never really had any kind of near misses with no, death. not really. There was that weird bit in season two where he comes out of the woods and he's like, he's been oh, yeah, killing yeah. people and Andrea and he's shooting you like stop it Andrea yeah. stupid yeah um, but other than that yeah he's been basically safe and just in terms of like the reaction that they need to get it just makes perfect sense like especially like how close him and Rick are because they're practically brothers at this yeah, point they are yeah they've been in episode 9 or 8 or 9 10 10 episode 10 uh, was those two on the road when they find Jesus yeah I love using that. Like, Which was quite funny. When they find Jesus, yeah. and, like the image of Jesus stood in between Michonne and Rick. Um, Michonne would probably have, yeah, the effect because obviously Rick is, and that would continue the trend of, if you love Rick, you did. No, nope, you screwed. Um, but, yeah, and then if you, again, some slight spoilers for graphic novels. I don't think it'd be Eugene because he is. He's quite integral for a lot of the future plots that yeah. we do. Because um, he's obviously got the bullet farm. Yeah. He's um, the only one. That, he's given Rick... That was the only thing is Eugene has that farewell with uh, Abraham when he hugs and he gives Rick the way to make bullets that that would almost foretell a death. Yeah, but then they've done a lot of that kind of thing with different people. Like yeah. Abraham deciding... Like saying to Sasha, yes. like, would you... Yeah, it's like, true. Would you want kids? Like... Because yeah. that's I'd be all right with that essentially. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. Like towards the end of the season, again, another kind of detriment to not showing who it is. They've done a lot of like kind of setting up people to die, like yeah. giving them moments of kind of. Yeah. And poof. Um, I think Abraham standing up to Negan probably keeps him safe. Yeah. Because he's sort of accepting it, so Negan wouldn't want to kill someone who's accepting it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think. 
Michonne, Daryl, or Glenn, or Glenn. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, yeah, and that's who I'd. In the weird part of me, I want it to be. Yeah. Like yeah, not that I don't like. Well, I would love them all to stay happy and lovely, but yeah. Negan has to kill someone yeah. for him to be that threat. Yeah, and it's a little bit annoying because obviously in the graphic novels again, minor spoilers. Um, so Abraham's dead at this point. Yeah, he gets the east. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think of who who else is like not there. So Sasha doesn't exist. Sasha doesn't. Exist. She's basically got Andrea's role. Yeah. In that sort of, she's turned into this badass sniper girl. Um, but so Carol has almost got that Andrea story as well. Yeah, it's, it's um, weird. So like, because they are they are separate and like they are separate enough. But it, I love I love that this season has been so good. At, and it's almost like you come off going, well, it doesn't happen to the books, which I hate. But yeah. this season has been so good at like Carl getting shot in the eye and like. That That's whole the thing. attack they've, on Alexander, they've come back to They've them. been pretty faithful to um to these most recent kind of volumes. Yeah. And like before they've been they've kept themselves pretty separate, characters are different, um, different beats to a certain extent, but the main plot points are there. But yeah, yeah. as you say, like this last season's been pretty on, on yeah. point. Like even being... Denise's death is on point with how it happens in the books, just not Denise. Yeah. And that's the thing is that scene was so good. It was it was issue one hundred. Yeah. It was it on the in the comic it's them on a highway. Um but other than that it's the sad it's just so it was so good. Jeffrey D. Morgan was Oh god he was so good. Yeah. And to be fair, I think to a certain extent as well the the show does a better job of introducing how big the saviors are. Yeah. Yeah. Compared absolutely. to the graphic novel, like you you still kind of get kind of understand it but yeah. not in such like we're well, seeing the groups grow and grow and grow yeah and when uh someone says in the rv says they weren't the same people yeah and like you're like oh and then the whole all of them surrounding them that's when they're all there and i don't know man yeah well yeah that's so say hello to negan because mate yeah what an entrance and i mean at the very base of it he d- he kills someone like he does kill someone yeah and it was well done it's just I d- wish there wasn't a cliffhanger yeah it that is it's probably like the only thing that I'd say was bad about literally it. the only thing that was bad but, and unfortunately because it was the last thing and because it was such a thing it does affect it like it yeah. does affect it and my brother um, was like oh no I love it I think it was genius way of doing it but I was like I just has your brother read the graphic novels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. As big of a fan as me, probably, I probably do top him just a little bit with my obsession. Yeah. But yeah, and he was like, oh, "I love that way they did it." And I was like, "I don't, I can't, I, I can't. I need to be told straight up why it was good, because to me, yeah. when you look at it from the outside, and how much it just affects, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me." Yeah. I, I would agree. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Oh, it's okay, man. It is late. We're filming this late. <laughs> it's not the middle of the day. Yeah, um, than usual. But that, yeah, so that's pretty much pretty much it. Yeah. Um, great episode. Good season. Yes. I think this has been one of the best seasons I think for, so. a, for a I while really now. I really think so. Like, really focused. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of threats. Uh, some great walkers. Some yeah. great, like, even that chain gang at the end. Yeah. Like, the one with the chain going through his stomach and then there was the one in episode 10 where he the walker was all she was all like in the wheels of the car yeah and yeah just oh so good so 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 good um really good scene. i love i love this show man i love this show so much yeah it's 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 now getting to the point where it's like the show i've been watching the longest now yeah i've been watching this since day one yeah yeah like i remember sitting down going this this hopefully it would be right. cool yeah, and yeah. amazing and then picking up the comics and yeah yeah and I'm just I'm ready for season 7 I want season seven. I wish it was I do wish it was next week because I wish it was gonna we were gonna get some closure on it yeah but we're not we're gonna have to wait till October it's been a long time final question yeah yeah I'll keep it fairly vague yeah a big cat 
Do you think we'll see that next season? Yeah, I think so. Let's let's really quickly touch on what season seven will probably be. Will be the fallout of Negan, Negan killing whoever he kills. I think will probably it'll either be because Carol and Morgan are probably there. That's where they're going to start. Yeah. Um, let's put the spoilers back up. Let's spoilers. put the spoiler back up. Um, um, they're going to be at the kingdom because yep. there's no like. I, I worry that the season seven premiere will start with them. Oh god, that'd yeah. be horrible. Yeah, because also that throws out the time frame because they're happening in the day and that'd be awful if you left wondering if they don't start the episode but anyway. If they, <laughs> um, so I think you'll see the king I think you'll see the kingdom, but I don't think well that's the point, is it has to be quite soon if Carol and Morgan are there. Yeah, I get the feeling that um I don't know, it's it's tough because it's gonna be the like, the fallout of Negan and then, like, them being sent back to Alexandria, like, all kind of broken down. Rick not knowing if he should be a leader anymore, yeah. what he should do. Then Jesus will probably show up and be like, look... Um, I wonder if they'll get to the hilltop. I suppose they've they'll got go to, to the really. Hilltop. They've got to save Maggie. Maggie's still... Yeah. But that's the thing is, Maggie will still be ill. Yeah. Like, just because someone dies doesn't mean she's going to be like, maybe it's fine. Unless it was her. And yeah, then yeah, like, and then... Oh, okay, we'll, we'll go back. Go back. <laughs> So yeah, I just, yeah. So I, I think we will probably see because you won't see Ezekiel without Shiva. No, like you just won't. Like. Yeah. So that's that's what I was thinking because I'm not sure if I don't think The Walking Dead has it in their budget to have a CGI tiger well, that's in it as much yeah. as she is in the because she's in every scene of Ezekiel. Well, yeah. Kirkman. I know that's Kirkman fine. said she will be in it. I, I wonder what you're going to say I was going to say I wonder if it's just going to be like an introduction where he's like on the steps with her next to him oh, like a badass and then that's it yeah. and then we, it's maybe yeah, yes, like a yeah. model or something in the background so okay. you don't really have to pay too much money for it yeah but then at the same time there's that there's like once they start fighting the Sage she is there she's like, ha- she has fights with them yeah. as well so so I my pessimistic not pessimistic not pessimistic no my theory is that Shiva is something else oh god that would be horrible (laughs) it's like a weapon or it's a vehicle or it's something else just so they but I if I remember correctly Kirkman has said that she she will be in it yeah as the tiger and if they if they do it I would almost like it to be rubbishly animated just because it's like, <laughs> it's hilarious. But I mean, if they can do the Walker stuff, then I suppose they can do... Yeah. I mean, look at like something like... The Walking Dead has got a lot of viewers, a lot of... It must have a big budget. Like, things like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has like helicarriers every episode. Yeah. I mean, and they don't really use... The, uh, like, from what I can remember, they don't have anything that takes up what I would imagine um, that much of a budget. No, like... The walkers are all prosthetics. Like, there's very rarely an animated walker. Um, Rick's still got both hands, so they're not having to animate something out. Carl's got that over his eye. Which is easy enough. Yeah, I just don't... Yeah. And I don't really have massive hordes that often anymore. No, no. And the one thing that will happen if, as a final note, once Ezekiel and Sheep and the Kingdom are in it, it becomes very much a comic book show. Yeah, because that will be the most unrealistic thing that you've seen mm. ever. Yeah, it really, it, it didn't sit right with me when I first started reading it. I was like, this yeah. is a bit ridiculous. That's a bit of silly. Like, but you kind of get used to it and you're like, yeah, you know, when you're yeah. rebuilding the world, people are going to rebuild it in different ways, yeah. which is fine. And then they're awesome. And yeah. it's like, oh my God, so good. And um, then I've got to say, Season seven, mate, that's, it's going to be intense because that's going to be essentially war. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think I think we'll see season, I think the first half of season seven will be sort of that battle of them. Then season, the second, seven B will be that sort of build up. Then I think season eight is going to be all out war. Yeah. Which is obviously the arc when Kirkman went two issues a month and it's just this massive fight and that's obviously got the... Yeah, yeah. I think season eight is probably our all-out war. Then season nine, because let's be honest, it's not going to stop. Yeah, will be gonna the whispers. Oh god, they're so good. Theory, um, comic books, comic books. 
uh, Carol. The spoiler's still up. Yeah, oh, yeah, still, yeah. <laughs> uh, Carol comes back as Alpha. I'll say no more. Wait. Really? Yeah, that's one of the theories on the internet that she will end up going so far, like, gone, mm. that she goes off and then she comes. I think it's a bit too wild, but I can almost sort of believe it to be true. I mean, it'd, it'd be cool, but there's like, there's scenes with the Alpha and Carl. That wouldn't work. Yeah, well, because it's the daughter thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, her crux of the character is that she sends the daughter away. Yeah. We're getting well too into spoilers Yeah, now. we're way, way, way too way into too spoilers. Deep. Okay, we're... We can't wait for it. We hated the cliffhanger. Loved the episode. Yeah. Loved the season. Yeah. Jeffrey Dean Moore, let's... <laughs> good show, good show. Oh, I love that guy. That's so good. That's so good. Uh, right, okay. Well, I think we're going to have to call it quits there because I, I need to cut this down. Because we were like, this won't take that long. It'd be maybe like half an hour. We're probably at about an hour now. Yeah. We talk too much. We do. We do. We're passionate. <laughs> we're passionate. So we're going to cut it there. Um, have I had fun? I've had fun. Thank you for coming along. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be a continuous thing yeah. for big things. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Because why not? Let's I, what I'm going to do, probably the next thing, I'm going to just blitz the Flash. Oh, okay. And then at the end of season two. Okay, let's. Recap. Let's. Okay. Let's do that. So, you've been you. We've been us again. He's less Batman. Well, actually, no. No, I'm more Batman than last time <laughs> because I wasn't wearing anything Batman other than my belt. And now it's just. Like... And now I've got a Batman shirt. I love this shirt. Oh, it's a good shirt. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah, like I've that. been me. I've been a little bit Nathan. Yeah. Ooh, um, a little bit. In, a little bit of each other. Yeah. Inside each other. Oh. Like a warm kitten. Clown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the time I'm yeah, gonna head yeah. off here, But anyway. We will probably see you in a video in the not too distant future. Bye! Peace. Jeffrey Dean Morgan! <laughs>